Set, go. There you go. Good, Jamarcus. Look it in, look it in. Blue 12, blue 12. Set, go. We're in Nazi, hunt. Set, go. Good. Who is that, Daryl? Good. Keep that head up. Keep the head up. Here we go, Nigel. Here we go. Set, go. As a football player, stay low. Drive, go, go, go. 15-year-old Evanston Township High School sophomore in Nigel Shelton has a lot on his plate. A punt, field goals, a running back. Here we go, set, go. Linebacker. That's it, good, Nigel, perfect. And I do a lot, I do it all. He has a lot on his plate after practice, too. I try not to think about it. I just play the game of football. I just try not to think about my stomach and what's going on with it. But his mom, Shaniqua Shelton, says she's always thinking about her son's stomach and not just what he's putting in it. When she went for her first ultrasound, the doctor abruptly left the room. He returned with the image and with serious concerns. He said, uh, your child has gastroschisis. I said, gastroschisis? What is that? That's a condition where it's pretty um, rare, and you're born with your intestines outside of your stomach, so everything is kind of spilling out. Dr. Elaine Chu is part of Nigel's care team at La Rabita Children's Hospital. And I'm like, huh? A child can be born with their intestines on the outside of the body. Doctors don't know what causes gastroschisis, but it results from an opening in the abdominal wall. It requires the newborn's intestines to be placed in what's called a silo bag, a protective pouch for the organs that is hung above the body and slowly pushes the bowels back inside. Like gravity, to put the intestines back inside of his body naturally. Enigel was premature and weighed less than five pounds at birth. He would have to spend nearly two months in the newborn intensive care unit before doctors could perform surgery. I had friends and family bring in balloons and flowers and congratulate me on the new bundle of joy, but it just didn't feel like joy at the time because where was my bundle of joy? He was in a NICU fighting for his life. The surgery was successful, but in many ways, the challenges were only starting. It was some crazy pictures, so many cords wrapped around me and through me. Babies who experience gastroschisis often have trouble digesting and absorbing nutrients properly. He had a G tube because, of course, he couldn't um, he couldn't have a bottle. That can have a long-term impact on growth and brain development. Schooling was not easy for him. It was tough when I was that age as a kid. And he didn't talk until he was like um, one years old. So there's delayed development because of this. It was delayed development because of this, absolutely. As a child, he needed occupational therapy, developmental therapy, and speech therapy. Were there certain activities he wanted to do and couldn't do as a child because of this? Absolutely. It was a lot um, in the beginning because I also, I was scared. I had anxiety that I didn't want him to rip open his stomach and forbid football. <laughs> I was just like, oh no, we're not doing that. Even as school was a struggle, Nigel was fascinated with football, and he was begging to play. What did she tell you when you said, I want to do that? <laughs> she allowed it, but didn't. Like, she allowed it, but she just told me I have to be careful. But my mom worried about it the most, because if I get hit too hard, anything could happen. Hey, mom, he's 177. Oh, nice. He lost some weight. But his doctors say... Nice and straight. 167.5. Football, and just about every other activity, is perfectly okay. Now, after a recent checkup... All right, I'm gonna check his blood pressure. Dr. Chu says he's in tip-top shape. I mean, he's a regular kid right now, a regular teenager doing regular teenager things. Tell me more about what, uh, what you've been eating. Grapes, bananas, strawberries. And I'm so happy to see him thriving, really, with what he had to go through as a baby and as a child. Can you read it out to me? F, P, O. All right, Mama, looks like he did really good on the vision. Shaniqua watches every game from the stands. Sometimes I still hold my breath. 
that causes me not to shout out, you know. So when he's running or he's going, all I can say is, go, go, don't fall. And then highlights from the couch. <laughs> Far from falling, he is thriving. He's learning teamwork and gaining confidence. It speaks to his ability to overcome challenges. Um, and, you know, whether it be uh, obviously the challenges presented at birth, um, but also just the challenges presented on the football field uh, that he's working his way through, which you know, I, I guess seems very much natural to, uh, uh, to, to his development as a young person. You know, when you're going through that dark, those darkest tunnels and those darkest moments, it's sunlight on the other end. Nigel has dealt with a full plate of challenges. Go! Come on, drive, there you go, Jesse, good. Let's go. Digesting and absorbing the lessons along go. the way. <laughs> you might say, that takes guts. Wow, I came. Long way. In Evanston, Mike Lowe, WGN News. Yeah. E. Nigel, the sunlight on the other end. What an inspiration. Yeah. Him and his mom, yeah, too. Yeah, both of them. Good story.